from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. After four consecutive days of severe storm warnings, we're finally going to break out of this pattern heading into the weekend, and the heat and humidity will also come down. And we had plenty of heat and a lot of humidity before the storm hit earlier today. 72 was the low, 90 the high, that wasn't bad. But for the second consecutive day, steamy air with dew points in the upper 70s. And then the storms rolled through, dropped about a half inch of rain in Evansville and really cooled those temperatures down nicely. Highs, though, before the storms arrive, were generally around 90 degrees. Tomorrow will be a few degrees cooler, if you will, with more 85 to 90 and less humidity than what we have been sweating through lately. Only alerts we have on the map is the potential for a little patchy fog north of the White River. Earlier today, those storms did produce scattered wind damage kind of right along the Ohio River and then clustered in this area between Enfield and Mill Shoals. That was the early stages of the storm development during the late morning hours. We still have a storm down in our southeastern counties that kind of formed on the outflow from the wave that came through this afternoon that kind of pushed from northwest to southeast. So on the tail end of that in that kind of arc is where we had the cool air meeting the warm air storms formed on that boundary and have been sliding off to the east southeast the one that was up in wayne county has dissipated this one that is now down in our southeastern counties brought the evansville area a little rain it's diving south of owensboro now and looks a little weaker than it did uh, just within the past uh, 15 30 minutes but some heavy rain pushing into the hartford beaver dam area calhoun you're on the edge of it as is madisonville bremen you're getting Getting some heavy rain there. That's headed for the Central City and Greenville area. That should be exiting our southeastern counties in about another 30, 45 minutes. Everybody got the rain today, about a half inch to an inch in the metro. The jackpot in the last 24 hours down in Ohio County, just to the northeast of Hartford. And you got more rain on the way here within the hour, right between Dukehurst and Jingo. Our system estimating over three inches of rain fell down there. Probably more than you want because we've all had quite a bit of rain this week. And we're going to be shifting into a pretty dry pattern after we get through our Friday. Pretty sunset after the storms uh, rolled through uh, this afternoon. We had those storms building in the western sky, and we had some pretty mammatus clouds down in Hopkins and Muhlenberg counties. Got some nice pictures of those on my Facebook page. We're 78 right now, so a borderline steamy dew point of 75. South, southwest wind at 8. Temperatures are falling through the 70s. We're just going to wind up in the low 70s overnight as uh, this wave moves on the cold. Cold fronts coming in from the northwest, so we could still see a few more showers and thunderstorms developing overnight. But the Storm Prediction Center is keeping that threat for severe weather, and it's just an isolated threat off to our east. And finally, tomorrow, no severe weather concerns. The marginal risk is along and east of I-65. But overnight, you see a few thunderstorms here in western Kentucky, not expecting anything severe, but heavy downpours and lightning will be a possibility. That wave is gone by daybreak, and then more scattered showers and thunder showers develop as we head into tomorrow afternoon, but nothing severe, and it will not be as hot nor as humid. Highs generally 85 to 90, forecasting 86 to 87 in the metro. Those scattered showers ending around sunset in time for a dry weekend. It's going to be hot and humid, but not nearly as hot or as humid as it has been. Highs around 90 on Saturday, maybe low 90s on Sunday. But with just plain humid air, that heat index feels like temperature should be staying below 100 for both Saturday and Sunday. But overnight, a few more thunderstorms rolling on through, 69 to 74. Scattered showers and thunder showers tomorrow, mixing with some sun, but nothing severe. It'll be breezy, humid, and not as hot. Generally 85 to 90, a little cooler in our northwestern counties. And our first weekend of August is looking pretty nice, pretty typical, but we can take typical after this week. 91 to 93, just humid to air and uh, mostly sunny skies for pretty much both days. It does heat up next week, but we hold off the very high humidity and finally no severe weather in sight for the next seven days. All right, that sounds good. Thank you, Wayne.